Hi, this is Sherry Starnes, and I wanted to take a moment today to talk to you about um, your your mindset, your personal development. And actually, I've been reading a book. It's called uh, Keys to Success by Napoleon Hill, and he talks about 17 principles of personal achievement. So that's actually for over the next few videos. That's what I'm going to talk about. Are these 17 principles? And the first one that he talks about is having a definite purpose in life. If you don't have a definite purpose in life, if you don't know where you're going, then you're probably going to stay exactly where you are. So you have to have a definite purpose. You have to know what you want, and you have to have a plan to uh, uh, to get there. But it's more in, than just having a, a definite purpose. You need to write that down. You need to write down what your definite purpose is. If it's not written down, it's just a thought. So it needs to be written down. And a couple of the reasons it's it's uh, so important to have a definite purpose is that it helps you grow. It helps you uh, develop, you know, your self image. It helps you to be more initiative and, and imaginative. Imaginative. So it's important that you you know you do have a definite purpose, or either you're just going to stay right where you are. And with this definite purpose, uh, he talks. It, the book talks about specialization. You know, you have to specialize. You can't just go out and be on a whim and, you know, not where, know where you're going. You have to have a definite direction. You know, know what you want. And know, make a plan of knowing how you're going to get there. You have to think about, you know, be aware of opportunities that could occur because, you know, they're just floating around all over the place. You know, you have to be aware. And that's one thing about your definite purpose. It, you, your opportunity has to match your definite purpose. Meaning that, you know, if you want to have a, a definite purpose of so much in life or a dollar amount that you want to make in a certain amount of time, then, you know, you're not going to do it by mowing yards, or, or maybe you are. But, I mean, if you have a big goal, you know, you've got to your opportunity has to match what your definite purpose is. So it's important that you consider that as well. And the second step that he talks about is having a mastermind alliance. And what that is, is having a mastermind group, someone that you can relate to and talk to. And you're not going to know everything there is to know about everything, you know, your business, whatever. So it's important that you have a mastermind alliance where you can talk and you can share. You know, uh, Henry Ford, he didn't know how to do everything, but he had he had a group. He had his mastermind. They were all specialized or they all knew about certain areas, and that's what a mastermind alliance is. It's someone to be there to help you, uh, coach you, plan with you, and get everyone on the right track. So it's very important to have a mastermind alliance. And when you're forming your mastermind alliance, you have to make sure that it's with someone who has the same direction that you are. You know, you can't just go out and ask your friends because you know as well as I do that many of us have naysayer friends or, or people that don't uh, don't have a major purpose or don't have, they're content where they are. They don't want to be any better or any bigger or have any more money than what they have right now. So it's important that when you're forming this mastermind alliance that you choose people to be in your mastermind that have the same dreams and same goals and same desires that you do. And, uh, you know, if you're uh, if you're having personal problems, you know, or, you know, marriage problems, you don't want to go to someone who's been divorced five times for marriage counseling. The same thing is with the Mastermind Alliance. You know, you, you have to, it has to be a group that you can trust and that, as I said, they have the same definite purpose that you do. Uh, let's see, and you have to determine the, the rewards that you're going to get from this uh, mastermind group. You know, all of you together have to have to work work together. Set up a special time, place for a meeting. You know, whether it's a hangout, and you know, or a, a go to meeting call or whatever. You know, you have, or a Skype call. You set up a special time, place where you all can get together. And with the network marketing, you know, it's not going to be at someone's house or something like that more than likely but you do need to be able to get together and share ideas and 
you know, help build each other's confidence and, and understand each other's issues and, and problems. You have to uh, encourage each other. So, uh, let's see. And a goal of the Master Mind Alliance, too, is in your education, you need to be able to share ideas and thoughts and, and uh, concepts and things like that. Know where you're going to go, how you're going to get there. And all of you will need to rely on each other for continuing the education as far as listening to audios, reading every day, and just that. So uh, that is the first two steps out of this Keys to Success by Napoleon Hill, 17 Principles of Personal Achievement. And as I said before, I'm going to do a couple of these steps every day. The first two today, we talked about the definite of purpose and establishing a mastermind alliance. So with that said, I hope you have a great day. Go ahead and click the link below. I will probably have this on my blog, but uh, anyway, go ahead and click the link below. You can go to sherrystarns.com, enter your uh, email address, watch another video that will blow your mind so keys to success that's where we're that's the uh, direction we're going to go right now so that we can establish a definite purpose and we'll know the 17 principles of personal achievement that is talked about by dr napoleon hill so make it a great day click the link below go to sherrystarns.com and i will see you on the next one